Hey, good morning, friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy Monday. It's Sam from Maryland Magnet Fishing and Metal Detecting. Uh, so today I'm back out here at my metal detecting permission. Uh, we kind of found last Friday where we think at least one house was. But one of the things I want to discuss real quick uh, before I get started is you've got an area you can see just how wide and big this field is. Uh, what I would suggest, it's not feasible. I, I carry these little um, surveying flags. <clears throat> I mean, I could put a couple here as reference points, but if you're gonna be walking from one edge of the field all the way over to the other and back, what you can do is just pick a landmark and just walk straight to it. Now, this ground's relatively dry, so what you could do is maybe every couple steps drag your foot a little bit to leave a scuff mark. So when you're on your way back, you can look. I mean, it's other than just breaking your search pattern up into small grids, it's that's probably you know one of the, about the easiest ways to do it. Uh, the field, there's that fox over here. I don't know if you can see him by that brush pile. Uh, we were detecting over this area, primarily right over there is where I've been focusing last uh, probably five years now, and that area is not that wide. It's eh, 50, 60 yards wide, so. I would just set a series of four flags out and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But with this area being so big, and we're not going to be going from one edge of the field to the other. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you can see where my finger's pointing. That's, man, that fox is booking over there. Uh, that's where I found that gold-plated button as we're leaving out on Friday. So we're gonna probably just maybe go 20, 30 yards on the right and then over. Uh, Cause there are several high features here, which we're figuring probably where a house was. I know a couple of years ago, my buddy that used to own the property right where my finger is pointing, that's a goose blind. And we did out to about that area there and we really didn't come up with much um some junk uh we found some pieces of tin like what would come off of a barn so i'm not going to waste my time with that area uh, i texted the person that owns a property to have them either put the farmer in touch with me or just have find out from the farmer when he is going to till this land uh, I actually passed the guy coming in this morning, but I didn't get a chance to flag him down. So if he comes out today, I'm gonna to make sure I do that. Uh, but I just probably, we're probably gonna come out here three days this week. Um, we're tentatively gonna do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <clears throat> um, Friday, we're gonna to have to knock off about two because I have to go uh, west back over to the western shore of Maryland and traffic gets right heavy so and I don't do good sitting in traffic that just pisses me off to no end but um so you know this is just right now it's hinging on the the job that I'm waiting to hear back on uh, that I did the drug screen and the background check because my tentative start date is next Monday the 26th so you know, we'll, if this place hadn't been uh, tilled yet, we might come down here, you know, on a Saturday. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to get this GoPro on and get my headphones on and just start my search. Uh, again, you know, we had some good luck here Friday. Today I got my vest. Woohoo! Got my vest, got my pinpointer, all my little gadgets. So that'll be a lot better. Um, so what Aaron and I are going to do is once he gets here, we'll get walkie talkies and we can split up uh, 
we're both going to be using headphones because right over on the other side of that tree line is one of the tenant houses there's another one over there i mean they probably would not hear our detectors but i promise the landowner that you know we'll be quiet and be respectful so let me go ahead and pause this and get my stuff set up <sighs> kidding me is that it but that's it first yep that's it son of a gun god i think that's a yeah it's a cap crap oh ah, boy oh well Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, I brought, I've got to uh, add another pouch on here, and if you see me taking a swig out of this, these are U.S. Air Force survival flasks. It has water in it, no booze in there, so just don't want anybody saying, oh my God, look, he's out there drinking, but they're small enough that... <clears throat> I think they hold a pint and I got a couple of them in uh, my vehicle because Aaron's supposed to be bringing me some eggs from his chickens so I got a couple more in there just you know in case but they're small enough light enough to carry that you know it gets the heck it's in here um but yeah, just nice enough to have. Up oh, here it is. is. That it? That is a shot, modern shotgun slug. Yep, man. Jeez. Oh. Dag nabbit. Oh, look at that. One pull tab. Ugh, crap. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Well, 0 for 3 today. But one thing you'll notice in my videos. I'll put the trash along with treasure, you know, with the finds, because I don't want people thinking that every time you go out, you're going to be digging gold and silver and priceless coins. That ain't how it works. Uh, we actually, we didn't do any research. I didn't do any research at all. Uh, I bought a map, reproduction map of the county from... 1858 I think and I was only interested in that section over here and uh, Aaron did a lot of research he found a map online from the 1700s and that's where we found that there were two by those those days standards wealthy landowners here uh, he looked up through ancestry and I think one guy was worth like 20,000 I forget what the other one was worth so you know that helps uh, with the research but the problem is looking at those maps um, it wasn't like it was a uh, oh I forget what you call them but a land plot so we couldn't just you know walk from the the creek over there 100 paces and boom this is where the houses were so that's why Friday we just did that quick uh, wide area search trying to just narrow down where exactly those two residences would be 
and we found over here a lot of trash um because back then they wouldn't have tore the house down it probably just would have been easier to burn it down and then you know knock the foundation down <laughs> Is it? The heck? It's a little twenty two, I think. Shoot. <sighs> Good night. Oh, gracious day in the morning. Oh. Sorry about that. My old fat butt having a hard time getting up today. Yeah, a little 22. Oh, look. Piece of shotgun shell. I bet that was it. Yep. Tack on it. Man. Oh, it's another one of those. Oh, son of a gun. It's another one of those 28 caliber pistol bullets. That's the first one ever found over here. Shoot. Ugh. This on my GPS. Just found another one of those 28 caliber pistol bullets right here. Hey, over here. Yeah, this struck something because it's got an indentation on the top. Man. Wow. Well, yeah, this on the GPS. So this is the... Man, I want to say this is about the fifth, fifth one of these I've found so far in this whole entire complex. Uh, it's the first one we found on this section. But yeah, this program I use is called iSmart. Um, it's pretty much worthless. Uh, I've had it on that other field, where it'll GPS stuff. A mile and a half across the uh, field from where we've been so that's why I use this standalone Garmin and if any of you guys do use a standalone please do yourself a favor and download whatever manufacturer it is download their program and uh, back it up download because or unless you've got a new one that will save it because i had god it was well over 100 it was like 130 waypoints from all the years i've been detecting that other side and somehow i accidentally deleted them and i contacted garmin and the guy's like yeah i'm sorry man there's no way you can recover them so I mean, it stunk because, you yeah, know, that was four years worth of waypoints gone in just a blink of an eye. But, you know, lesson learned. Oh, I just heard something scrunch. Yeah, geez. But that's it there. Bolt. Yep, some sort of a bolt, I guess. Ugh. That's all right. I'll put this in my uh, scrap pile for my metal or scrap bucket for uh, 
magna fishing i don't care shotgun shell shoot yep that's another one another little piece of uh, lead shot huh this is old Goose is doing over there. All right, so this a little flatten. This part of a shotgun hull, damn it! Shoot, is that what the heck I've been chasing this whole time? Damn it! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Yep. God. This part of a shotgun hull, damn it. Shoot. Is that what the heck I've been chasing this whole time? Damn it. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Damn. Yep. God. Is that it? You have got to be kidding me. Holy crap. Ugh. You got to see. I walk over there. This thing drove me freaking nuts. It's probably, I think it's spitting rain right now. This is the tiniest freaking signal I've ever dug. Tiniest thing. Good God. Little, little teeny piece of copper. Good <laughs> Look at God. that. That's tiny. And I mean, it blended in oh, with yeah. all the crap. Oh, yeah. I was literally. Because cool I kept thinking it's like, it was like 15. I'm going, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Yeah. I kept thinking, it's like, what the hell is this? It's the only thing that's substantial I've found. You found another one? Yeah, it was great. That's about... It's on the other side of the yellow flag. Same size one you found before, 50. Yeah, 50. I don't yep. know whether somebody dropped it or whether it's old or new. Because I know they used to use muzzle loaders with round balls at some point. But brown, even, oh, yeah. It was you know, patched. Modern, you yeah, used patched. Gun, so who knows? <coughs> but... Like what I'll do is this one and the one you found, I'll soak it in some dish liquid. Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure the other one you found you found had rifling and it hit something. Yeah, it, it was shot. Yeah. Well, we are gonna call it quits because it's starting to rain and we just heard thunder. And a bunch of big trees right here, and I don't particularly feel like getting electrocuted. Uh didn't get a whole heck of a lot. Um that's that tiny tiny little sliver of copper it's another pretty sure it's a 50 caliber ball Aaron found this pretty sure is a little piece of lead buckshot and that's another one of those uh, 28 caliber pistol balls that I found some before and then 
it's just all the junk shotgun shells pull tabs metal uh, yeah i didn't pay attention to weather when i got up this morning because yesterday it wasn't calling for rain so yeah if it wasn't thundering and it looks like we're right on the edge of it so i'll just go home and i get this video uploaded and we're going to be coming back probably wednesday and then again friday so sorry i had to cut this short but uh I'm not going to play around out here in the rain. It's just not worth it. I don't feel like getting electrocuted. Uh, I mean, if we knew it was gold out here, yeah, I'd run the risk. But you know, it keeps it's drizzling. It's, it's just getting harder. And I've been through too much to be getting electrocuted. So uh, anyhow, guys, leave a thumbs up if you like it. If not, just, <clears throat> excuse me, leave, you know, make some comments. Tell me what I can do to improve because... At the end of the day, we're doing this for you guys. Um, you know, for people either can't get out, uh, you know, but I will show the crap that I found along with the good stuff because I don't want y'all to think that every time we come out here, we're pulling up silver coins, gold coins. That ain't how it works. Um, you dig a lot of trash. Just the, I basically say this is just like magnet fishing. Magna fishing, you toss in, you get trash here. It's the same thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. So again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.